Hello, and welcome back to our VPC videos filmed in Victory Point Cafe, the Bay Area's first board game cafe. As always, I'm your host and game guru, Antonio. This time we're taking a look at some dexterity games, but not dexterity games in general. We found that to be too broad of a genre to pick just five from, so we narrowed it down even further to flicking games. Flicking can be a great mechanic to add to a game thanks to the physical nature it adds, not to mention the potential to mess up in hilarious fashion. So if you're looking for some silly fun, this list has you covered. From simple aim and shoot titles to more advanced games that just happen to have some flicking in the rules. Now, let's get flicking. Ever wish you lived back in the simple times of the Wild West, where outlaws roamed and small towns counted on their sheriff for protection? Well, in Flick'em Up, you can hop right into a meeple-filled version of your fantasy. In each game of Flick'em Up, you will set up a small town complete with buildings, cacti, barrel, and what have you. And you will then break into teams, the outlaws and the lawmen, and play out one of the scenarios laid out in the rulebook. Want to move in this game? You flick a disc. Want to shoot someone on the other team? You flick a disc. Catch someone from the other team? Then you face off in a classic Wild West duel. Whether it's the theme or the flicking that brings you to flick them up, there's plenty to go around. Crokinole is probably the definitive classic flicking game and easily one of the greatest ever beer and pretzel games out there. At its core, Crokinole is a round flicking version of shuffleboard, where you're trying to maneuver your discs to the central areas of the board to score more points than your opponent. There are many different rule sets for Crokinole out there, as the game is very, very old. But usually, when you flick one of your discs, it has to hit one of your opponent's discs to be able to stay on the board. This helps increase the level of strategy the game calls for, as positioning and shot setup are as important as being able to make the shot themselves. Like dungeon crawlers, but wish you got to show off a bit of your own skills at taking monsters down in the process? Then Catacombs is the game for you. Take Descent and mix it with Flick'em Up, and you more or less have Catacombs a dungeon crawler for the dexterous. Want to move your character, fire an arrow, launch a spell? You got a flick for it. Unlike the previous games in this list, there is strategy to be had outside of the flicking. You have items you can upgrade, gold to collect, and rooms of angry monsters to clear out. Clear out an entire room, move on to the next one. Defeat the catacomb lord and win the game. But watch out, as the monsters in this dungeon are controlled by another player who might just have a few tricks up their sleeve. Another one versus many game, Ice Cool has you flicking little plastic penguins around. The board uses the game box to create a sort of walled off arena with a few rooms and small gates connecting each room. To score fish, you have to get your penguin through the right gates and collect fish cards before you get caught by the hall monitor. The hall monitor is controlled by another player and the role is rotated between each round. Their job is to catch each player by knocking into their penguin. They then get fish for each successful capture. Once everyone has had a turn being the hall monitor, you see who collected the biggest lunch. Can you flick your way to the most fish? Possibly the deepest title on this list, Ascending Empires is all about building up your galactic civilization from the ashes of long gone but far advanced alien ruins. Throughout the game, you will colonize new worlds with cities and research stations and develop new technologies from alien relics and build up your fleet of starships to conquer the stars. Conquering the stars, of course, means traversing them, which is done by flicking your little ship disks from one planet to another. This is how you will discover new planets. Want to colonize that planet? Simply turn in your spaceship for a troop meeple. Now you can start mining the planet and establish buildings there, which will let you build new and more powerful ships to send out to the stars. Advance your technologies and destroy your opponent's ships to claim dominion of the galaxy. Well, that's it for our list and our video. Don't forget to leave us any questions, omissions, or grievances in the comments below. Or you're welcome to come down to the cafe and argue with us in person or try some of these great games. And if you really liked our video, don't forget to hit like or subscribe. As always, thanks for watching and game on.